my presentation, we're going to talk about some of the basic postulates of the geometry. Now, here we see a picture of our good friend Pythagoras, dating back to the 3rd century BC, in his discovery of his geometry. So, a postulate is a statement and is accepted without proof. Now, uh, we're going to have a bunch of different postulates. We're going to tag them according to the, the chapter uh, that they occur in, in the sequence. So postulate 1-1 one, one is the first postulate of chapter 1. Postulate 1-4 one, is the fourth postulate of chapter 1, so on and so forth. Okay? It's not important that you remember the 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 number given, it's more important that you remember the concept being discussed. Um, and most of these, although they're not uh, able to be proved, we will be able to illustrate them, uh, which we'll do in class with the geometry sketch pad. So postulate 1-1, one, one, through any two points there is exactly one line, all right? Postulate 1-2, two, two lines intersect, then they intersect exactly at one point. Postulate 1, 3, if two planes intersect, their intersection is a line. And postulate 1, 4, through any, non, through any three non-collinear points, there's exactly one plane. So here we show two lines. And these lines are, are constructed, uh, which also have algebraic names, which you should recall from your algebra. Uh, they're in the point-slope form. And as you can see, these two lines do have an intersection, and we should be able to determine what is that point of intersection. Obviously, we can graph it, and from the graph, we can see the point C is a point of intersection whose coordinates are apparently here, negative 1, 2, 3, and negative 4. So it's negative 3, negative 4. Uh, now the question would be, uh, how is it found without the graph? Well, you'll have some exercises later, uh, which when you have the equations, you can find the point of intersection using some uh, algebra techniques that you should have already uh, solved. Some of the problems titled there would be solving simultaneous equations. Uh, so here's some questions for you to answer. You should be able to answer these without any, uh, a lot of difficulty. Three or four points that are collinear. Uh, points all on the same line, A, G, I, and B, E, H, I, and F. They're all two sets of collinear. Three points that are not collinear, well, I could look at um, perhaps G and H, and then take point I. They're non-collinear. I could look at point E and uh, F, and then take point, point B, which is non-collinear with that. Name two points that are not collinear. Uh, a and G, there's a line that goes through them. D and G, there's a line that goes through them. This is not possible. Think about the definitions and postulates we said earlier. Okay. Uh, when we have planes, their intersection of two planes is a line. Here we show uh, an intersection of three planes being a line. Okay. Uh, and, of course, we could have infinitely many planes intersecting at that same line. Uh, in, if you think about in, the, in your room, the, a wall and a ceiling would be, uh, the edge there would be the uh, intersection, which is a line between the uh, intersecting planes. Um, so there's some examples for you to think about. So here's a box, okay? It's, you, you should try to see this in three dimension. Uh, and uh, sorry, we uh, got to go back on that. Okay, so we go back to that box, uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to view that from that uh, from that current slide. So here's the box. Find the intersection. This A B C D is the sort of like the floor plane. Uh, F B C G is like one of the walls. They're intersecting at B C. Find another point in the plane containing A B and G. So A, B, and G, okay, line A, B, and G, that would be the plane that 
is kind of diagonal. AB kind of slices through here. Okay. Another point that would be in that plane would be uh, H. A uh, plane that cuts uh, the figure in half. Okay, well, you can cut it diagonally with the plane HGBF. Think about another plane that you might use to cut it diagonally. Names, name the plane that share point D. Okay, well, point D is where three planes intersect. It's a corner. It's a corner of a room. It's where three planes intersect. You should be able to name them ADCB, ADFE, HGCG. Uh, what planes contain the line F and G? What planes contain the line through FG? Well, FG over here looks like it is the the the, the planes that contain the top uh, EFGH and FBCG. Uh, here's intersecting planes. Uh, these two planes intersect at AB. Name a point coplanar uh, that is on the same plane as MA and B. Uh, Okay, MAB is this plane which is uh, kind of horizontal. A point coplanar in that plane, N or L. Name a, a non coplanar point with Q, R, and P. Q, R, and P is this uh, shaded plane, okay? And a point non coplanar would that would be anything on the unshaded plane, M, O, L, N. Name a plane containing line AB. Well, the two planes there both contain line AB. Uh, here's a three-dimensional coordinate system. Okay, um, you should have been seeing this at some point, but the discussion of it will be taking place later. Of course, if we're trying to locate a point, then we need to know how far out in X how far up in Y, and how far out in Z we go. So this, you can clearly see, has coordinates in X, Y, and Z. That's the end of it.